many people are aware today that when a bunch of people who are guests to a company are using a network that it can potentially slow down. What we also know is that there are employees that are not doing their job sometimes, have technological skills that they've learned from being online or in school, but they're not actually working in their industry of profession. They take other jobs because of their human interests, their interpersonal hobbies, or the reality of a social network that makes them feel good. But the truth is when other people in a community interfere with human rights on their computers, they really get what's going to happen to them. A person like me is the absolute best secret shopper for a company because not only do I have the ability to see all the angles of a company's point of view to a consumer's point of view to an employee's point of view that openly it's what I talk about that does things not to you but for your employer. You see my paycheck comes from an employer. Lawsuits also go to an employer. And every child that works for a company is liable to their employer. So if you do something to monkey up your job, that's on your life. If you do something to humiliate or embarrass your company, that is also your liability in life. Any company can sue an employee for violating code of ethics or putting them at legal risk. My job in the world of consumer rights is to make sure that consumer rights are not being violated. The truth is, I'm an expert in it, not true. But I'm pretty good at it, is absolute truth. And the reason that I'm good at it is because people violated my rights, stole my intellectual property while I was on this block, and think they have rights to keep deleting photographs, ruining videos, cutting and editing things that are not their rights, and they're failing to see how people view them today. Their colleagues are not liking them as much today. They do not want to be caught in cybercrime, which is a federal offense today. They do not want to be aiding and abetting physical, psychological, emotional, or spiritual abuse today. And when I talk in these things, when I speak about these topics, people don't want to believe that that's what they're doing. They just want to say, live and let live. I let him do what he wants to do. I'm not responsible for what he's doing. No, you're not. But the fact that you are aware is called aiding and abetting. And that means you are just as liable as the one doing it today.